that's what I'm looking for. Here it is. So sometimes you can remove it like this, the skin from it. All right. I'm just simply showing you guys what you guys can do by using the peeler. So nice to remove the cucumber from it. So we're gonna be using one medium sized cucumber and I'm all organic. All right. Yeah, man, they're all organic. Look at that. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, if you're using organic one, you don't have to remove the skin. All right. But, as I say, use what you have at home and make this one. All right. Now, I got the cucumber. So I'm gonna put some cucumber in the blender like this. I'm using one medium sized cucumber. Lovely, a nice medium sized cucumber. And that's what you wanna do. All right, so basically, we're going to be using sea moss and cucumber please share the video please tell a friend and a friend tell a friend all right subscribe is also very very important for you guys to subscribe to the youtube channel please check out my instagram page also and you can support chef ricardo cooking if you think what i'm giving you this evening is fantastic please let me know all right so we got cucumber inside of it as, as i'll show you how to remove the skin from the cucumber chop it up stuck it straight into the blender guys before i even go one more further let's get the like up to 50 50 likes fox and fox good morning thank you so much for coming on the show we appreciate the love in the meantime i'm gonna get a piece of a fresh ginger all right we're gonna get a piece of fresh ginger in the meantime all right i like my my fresh ginger my fresh ginger it's just the best to use, man. All right, lovely. Okie dokie, so I'm getting some fresh ginger at the moment. So the fresh, the fresh ginger, what we're gonna do, we're gonna grate a piece of fresh ginger into the blender like this, all right? Fresh ginger into the blender. All right. Nice one. So that's the fresh ginger. I love my fresh ginger, guys. Honestly, I'm always using fresh ginger all the time now so we got fresh ginger and cucumber inside of the blender at the moment and as i said if you want to get some good sea mask go to ocean mask that quarter uk uh you can go past chef ricardo website you can see the ocean mask sign just check on their website guys and support them man share some love all right um yeah big up every one of you guys who are watching so in the meantime if you don't know earlier i made this one this is Fox and Fox, apple cider vinegar, lemon, lime juice, and some honey. You want to drink this before you eat your dinner, and you want to drink this first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. All right? So this is what I'm doing right here at the moment. All right? So we got fresh cucumber and some fresh ginger in the blender. All right, now we're gonna get 
small medium sized lime a medium sized lime sorry guys medium sized lime we're gonna squeeze out that beautiful juice out of the lime juice just like this now as i said before right as i said before this is a different kind of recipe from our chef ricardo normally make all right so what we're going to do now we're going to put some sea moss into it all right so this is a gold sea moss all right if you want to learn how to make the gold sea moss just go over to my website go up on my youtube channel and watch the video so we're going to put one teaspoon two teaspoon of the gold sea moss all right yeah yes craig um i normally use baking soda and wash my vegetable but sometimes when i'm doing a certain kind of juice like this i like to remove the skin from the cucumber i think it just a little bit much better that's my opinion let me know what you think guys all right so right there you got fresh ginger sea moss and cucumber all right guys let's get the like up to 50. so what we're going to do we're going to blend it and i'm just going to pop a little bit of a water into it not too much all right that's a tiny bit of water into it thanks so much for the stars big up my tiktok and my facebook audience i really appreciate you guys love so what i'm going to do i'm going to blend this and make you guys see how this look all right, let's blend up this and see how this looks, guys. It's gonna be amazing, trust me. Wow, we don't even have to blend it too long, to be honest with you. I just blend it a little bit. All right, but look at this beautiful smoothie will come out of it. Wow, and that is amazing. All right, so when you blend, when you remove the skin from the cucumber, it's more like finely, nicely, and gently like an egg. You don't want your egg to drop and break, and that's what's going on. All right, that is amazing, guys. Fantastic one from Chef Ricardo cooking today for you guys. All right, enjoy the recipe and subscribe to the youtube channel we got a lot more recipes now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna be giving you one more recipe and that's gonna be the end of the day from chef ricotta cooking all right so this right here is cucumber sea moss fresh ginger and some lime juice mix everything together and trust me that uh what are the the benefit of sea moss Okay, you want to see the benefit of sea moss? All right, what I'm going to do, let's pin the benefit of sea moss for you because a lot of people need to know what sea moss is. And all right, just give me a second. I'm going to give you the, the full 100% of sea moss because some of us doesn't take the time to do the research and I'm always doing research. So in my comments chat right now at the moment, this is some of the benefits of sea moss. So if you want to learn how to use CMOS at home, first of all, do your research. Okay? Yeah, man. Do research. You can't go wrong. And the benefit of CMOS. All right? Here it is. This is the benefit of CMOS. Now, there are some more which I can also pin about the CMOS. Sea moss is powerful, guys. All right. There are some more, and that's the full. And that's that's the full of the full 100% of the sea moss right there. All right. Yeah, 100%, guys. Now, I'm going to simply say to you, this right here is delicious all right um let me see if i can find some more about this article 
Um, I have another one which I suppose I can share. That's the gold CMOS I'm using at the moment. All right, guys. So if you guys want to do some more research, you can also just Google the full benefit of CMOS. All right, and you can get a lot more um, CMOS gel. Uh, one on the first. Let me see this one. One hundred. Well, that's not, not the one I need to see. All right. Thank you so much, Fox and Fox. Good morning. Nice to see you, man. Where's Craigo? Big up yourself, Craigo. Thank you so much for coming on the show, guys. We really appreciate it. And now I'm gonna give you one more recipe, which is gonna take you to our next level, which is also important for you guys to drink at home. Okay, colorful drink. Oh yeah, here it is, man. Simple and delicious, and that's all, Chef Ricardo. Sharon Bentley, good morning. Thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate the love. And all of the other rest of people, them. Julian, thank you. How am I saying? Julian Connor, thank you so much for coming on the show. Appreciate the love 100%. All right. I'm using so many um, <laughs> fruits. That's why. Angela, thank you so much. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Things looking good. So let's go over here. All right. Let's. All right. Let's put that one side. And let's go over here. So guys. All right. We're going to show you exactly how you can, um. Do a nice, lovely juice at home. I'm going to be using the juicer now. So, yeah. Please be a chef recorder with the juicer. You know the juicer make a whole pan nice and all them thing there. All right. We're going to be using the juicer. Where it is. Let's come up with the juicer. All right. That's so you guys can see exactly what's going on. All right. Now, it's going to be a little bit of a noise. Okay. So, I got... I got some carrot right here. I got carrot, all right? Um, I got some beetroot, which I'm already prepped up. I'm gonna be making some carrot and beetroot juice into the juicer right here. I'm gonna be using the juicer machine because I think the juicer machine just, you know what I mean? Yeah, and I'm not thinking if I can just, just use it now and then I just use it because it just give me, you know what I mean? All right, thank you so much, guys, for touching the like button. I really appreciate the love. All right, so we're going to show you exactly. So what we're going to do, let's jump straight into this now because it won't be too long. Yeah, so... So we got some carrots. And that's all we're gonna do. The carrot. All right. I love this guys, this is the beef fruit. This powerful. Alright. Yeah man, let's get these inside of it and is amazing guys honestly all right now let me turn off the machine a little bit lots of nice are going on now i'm gonna tell you guys something all right now this is a very very important one that's why i turn off the machine before i go any further now the machine suck suck out the beetroot right here the machine 
it suck the beetroot juice out, put the trash at the back, and th this juicer right here, it, I'm gonna tell you something, guys. Honestly, you know what I mean? I'm gonna tell you something. This is fantastic and an amazing. Now, if you can just drink this on its own without put nothing inside of it, it's gonna be 100% better than anything else in the world. Before I even go any further, let me show you what I mean because I'm just wanna simply share something with my audience because of my respect for you guys. So what you wanna do, all right? What you wanna do, this is what you wanna do. I just, I just juice it out and this is from the beetroot only. Hold on the first, let's take off the lid. Everywhere is a little bit of mess, but that's what happened in the kitchen when you're doing certain things. Now, I'm betting any person right now, because two weeks ago, someone told me this, and I learned, I love to learn. You know what I mean? Thank God my grandmother always said to me, you have two years to listen and one more to talk and two eyes to see. So basically, you're gonna see more, and you're gonna listen, you're gonna see more, and you're gonna listen more, and you're gonna be doing less talking. But anyway, I do a lot of talking on my show. <laughs> A lot of people always say, Chef Ricardo, you talk too much. But I have to explain my show. This is Chef Ricardo's show. But when someone tells me something, I learn. And I take it into eat. Now, beetroot juice is right here. So if you drink this like this. Here's this thing. Big up yourself. This right here, guys, doesn't got any... um. This doesn't got any ginger or lemon inside of it yet. You want to drink this. If you can drink this every single day for one month. I'm telling you, every day for one month. You're, you're, in, you're not going to buy a house or a car or a new phone. You're just going to go to the supermarket. And what you're going to do, you're going to invest. Bling Lifestyle, big up yourself, man. Check out Bling Lifestyle YouTube channel and support him over there. You're going to invest into this beetroot and a juicer machine. And do this every single day. If you're on high blood pressure or you're suffering from certain kind of uh, inflammation in your body, this is what you're going to need to do. You want to lose weight. You want to detox your body and all of these things. This is going to be a juice which I would encourage you to make at home. All right? Now, um, what you can do, you can make a large portion and you can leave it in your fridge up to three days. All right, no less than three days. Don't go over to four and five days. God, we're not using it, the preservative in it. You know, the lemon will keep it up to three days and strong same way. Now, you drink one glass of this every single day or two glass every day. I'm going to tell you something. The other day, someone wrote me and said, Chef Ricardo, thank you so much for all of those beetroot juice and all of those recipes. I went back to my doctor and my doctor told me I do not need to be on any more medication for high blood pressure. Now, this is a very important message, all right? And you know what? Uh, when I heard the person say that, man, I said, thank God. Now, I'm going to simply say to you guys, these things work at home. It, trust me, it, they work at home. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drink this one right now. Oh, my God. The flavor from the beetroot, just the taste the beetroot is amazing. This right here is powerful, guys. Be careful. Don't only drink the beetroot juice on the weekend. I'm joking. I can't drink it every day. <laughs> Here's this him. Good morning. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. The flavor. Mm. Now, that is finished. That's the beetroot. So what you can do all right, you can add also a little bit of lemon juice or apple cider vinegar inside of it, okay? Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to be adding a few more um, ingredients to it, all right? We're going to add a few more um, ingredients to this um, juice right here, all right? That's you guys can also... Hold on, what's going on with this thing, man? It's all... Uh, it's always giving me a problem. What's going on with this? Come on. What's going on? Oh, yeah. Always giving me a problem. Be yourself. 
All right. Now, we're going to finish up the juice by adding a few more ingredients to it. I got some carrot and, and I got some ginger and lemon. All right. So what we're going to do, let's finish it up. All right. That's the ginger and the beetroot. We're gonna put a lemon. Wow. That is lovely. I love that guys, honestly. So this right here, guys, is amazing. And I will encourage you just to give it a try at home. You know what I mean? It's not going to be like, you know what I mean? Yeah, but it's going to be an amazing one. Now, let's put this one side. And let's come right here. So we got the beetroot now. Carrot, ginger, and lemon. So I like to put a little bit of an upper side of vinegar inside of it. Just a pinch. Of upper side of vinegar. Don't put too much. All right, lovely. So you can make a large portion of this, guys. Honestly, large portion, and keep it into your fridge. And trust me, you will see exactly what Chef Ricard have been talking about. This is a big, big, massive, life-changing right here. Um, ginger cucumber and uh, sea moss. That one is already done and dusted. So let's give this a try right here. Beautiful one. All right, let's try this. Oh yeah, you can taste the ginger and the flavor is amazing. Maculous guys, honestly, I love it. Now, I'm, I'm telling you the honest truth, this is better than fizzy juice and all those kind of big bottle of fizzy juice will puff up when the bust them and you hear explode. This is much better, honestly. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, I'm full up now, guys. I think I can't move out of the kitchen. I think I, I'm freezing this kitchen now. <laughs> but this is amazing, guys. Honestly, the color, the everything is just so beautiful. You know what I mean? Beetroot, carrot, ginger, lemon, and apple cider vinegar. You can't go wrong with this kind of juice. All right. And you don't need to add any ginger, any, any, no, any honey or sweetener or sugar. Do it naturally like this. All right? 100%. Yeah, man. Big up on yourself and my respect goes for you. And thank you so much, guys, for watching. Stay tuned in. We've got a lot more coming and a lot more ideas and a lot more recipes. A lot more help for you guys. If you follow Chef Ricardo, trust me, you will see wonders at home in your life. Trust me. Win some. What's going on? Long time I don't see you coming on Chef Ricardo. You need to join Chef Ricardo Life um, Membership. Sharon, thank you so much, man. Make sure you're drinking up some Cersei tea over there in Jamaica. Big up yourself if you're still in Jamaica or, there or wherever you are at the moment. If you're in Jamaica, make sure you drink Cersei tea every single morning. Get rid of certain kind of stuff out of your stomach. You know what I mean? Especially if you eat meat. You know what I mean? Cersei tea is very good, guys. All right? Help to get rid of parasites out of your body. And certain kind of uh, information. Big up on yourself. And my respect goes for you. Have a wonderful weekend. Today is Friday. And whatever you guys do today. Man, have a blessed day. I need to lose 10 pound. Why, why you need to lose 10 pound? High blood pressure. Okay. Now I can understand what you are mean. Now what you want to do. First thing what you need to do. If you want to lose 10 pound. If you are not on medication. Alright. What you can do is drink. My upper side of vinegar tea every single day. Do you have a play uh, with a juicer? Hold on the first. With, um, with the upper side of vinegar and a lemon and a half a teaspoon of organic on it every single day for 10 days. Trust me, life changing. Your high blood pressure can't go away in a one month, guys. 
Trust me. One month, if you have high blood pressure sometime, you just have to change your diet and start to eat healthy. All right? That's the first thing I would encourage you to do is change your diet. Yeah, um, if you go to my playlist on my YouTube channel, there's a lot of um, juice on it where you can watch. So if you have high blood pressure, guys, if you're suffering from high blood pressure and you're not taking any medication, one month, all right? Magic Chef. <laughs> Street Falf. Depot. Okay. One month, you can use and get rid of your high blood pressure. First thing, change your diet. Stop eating bread, rice, pasta, and all of them things. They start to stop use sugar and vegetable oil. Potato and all sort of them stuff there. Junk, all of those things. And then let's stick over to vegetables. One month, you can use and get rid of your high blood pressure, guys. If you're a person who are willing, want to come off a of medication and all sort of stuff, of stuff. If you're not on medication, make sure you check with your doctor, though. All right? Trust me. One month. All you have to do is change your diet. Change your diet. But if you're not on medication... That's different. But if you're on medication, check with your doctor. Check with your doctor because you want to make sure, you know what I mean? You want to make sure that you are doing the right thing because I'm, I'm not a doctor. But I know that there are certain things that sparks your eye blood pressure up when you eat certain kind of food. It helps to sparks your eye blood pressure up. And if you're stressed, it can also. And if you do a lot of thinking, and also, you know what I mean? If you've got kids in your house and the kids that might give you trouble, they are, you know what I mean? Sometimes the kids them not be at the right time. That can all help you spark up your high blood pressure, which that is just like, you said to your kids or your daughter or your son, time for you to go to bed and doesn't listen. Do not stress yourself. Those things lead to high blood pressure. All right? The way you eat can lead to high blood pressure. You've got, fa you got family issue that can lead to high blood pressure. There's a lot of stuff can lead to high blood pressure, guys. So basically... You as an adult need to address yourself. Stop thinking too much. You know what I mean? You have some problem, pray. Talk to your friend about it. Talk to someone. Tell some stranger your problem and let them talk to you. You don't have to tell them everything and take some stress off of you. All right? That's the best thing and you can release up your high blood pressure and set free. You don't have to be on medication for the rest of your life. All right? What if you are taking medication? Now, if you are taking medication... There are certain kind of drink you can also drink, like the beetroot. Try not use too much ginger, all right? You still can use apple cider vinegar, but it's very important for you to check with your doctor and let your doctor know that, listen, I want to do some natural juice at home. But you still can drink just like what you're eating, all right? So the, the most important thing is make sure you talk to your doctor and let your doctor know that, listen, I miss out the, the juice. So what are in the ingredients? Okay, it's just this one right here is beetroot, carrot, ginger, lemon, and blend it up. That's it. Um, this one, apple cider vinegar. Sorry, apple cider vinegar in this one too. This one, sea moss, ginger, lemon, and cucumber. And blend it up and drink it. There are certain things you can drink, guys, which if you still and high blood pressure, just like when you're on high blood pressure, you're still eating certain kind of food. You know what I mean? A lot of people on high blood pressure, they still eat rice. A lot of people still on high blood pressure, they still eat. They're still using salt. You know what I mean? Try and say to yourself, you do not want to be on medication for the rest of your life. And change your diet. Change your way you eat. Change your lifestyle. Stop drink alcohol. You know what I mean? High blood pressure leads to strokes and diabetes and a lot of, st and a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? Don't use salt. You know what I mean? Don't use certain kind of food We got a lot of salt in it. Stop using oil. High blood pressure lead to strokes. That's all. You know what I mean? You got problem at home. Sort out the problem. Don't think too much. Don't think about too much things what's going on. Because at the end of the day, you are damaging your body. You know what I mean? Just like a plant. If you keep moving the plant around, what's going to happen? It's going to end up dying. So it's the same thing with your body. You keep piling up yourself with a lot of stuff and it sparks a high blood pressure up. You go to the doctor, the doctor says to you, you're going to be on medication for the rest of your life. You're going to walk out crying because you never expect that. But the best thing is to change your diet. Change your diet, eat a little bit healthy. 
You know what I mean? Change certain kind of food, the way you eat. If you want to cook some food for your husband or for your wife, that's different. But change your diet is very, very good to do at home. All right? Very, very important for you to change your diet, guys. And eat a little bit healthier. 100%, you will see some good, good, good result. All right? But anyway, as I say, we could talk and talk and talk. You have to make the decision at home. Okay? We only can, invite, we can only encourage you to do certain things at home. The sea mask. If you want to use sea mask, you have to wash it. Now, sea mask does not help you to reduce high blood pressure. All right? And those sea mask, you cannot... You can take sea mask to help to boost your immune system when you mix it with different kind of ingredients. But sea mask, you have to make sure you wash it a million times to... um. To get your sea mask the right and proper way and then you know what i mean sometimes you cannot use boiling water and scald it off and then you blend it up but there are certain kind of ingredients you can still use like pomegranate seed juice is very good drink a lot of cucumber juice very good a lot of people doesn't drink a lot of water which water is very good also but one of the most important thing is to change your diet because you still have eat rice and you still have put salt in your rice you still have use a lot of butter you know what I mean? All of these things, they're still doing it. But you have high blood pressure and you complain. So the best thing what you need to do is change your diet. If you got problem at home, sort out the problem. Because these things lead to strokes. All right, guys? Trust me. When you start pack up yourself with a lot of stress and a lot of things going on through your brain, through your mind, trust me, it's not good for your health. You're damaging yourself. All right? You want to paint your house, you stress yourself. What if is what is CMOS? If you want to know what is CMOS, the best thing to do is to Google it. What is CMOS? CMOS is powerful, very good for the immune system, very help to fight against certain kind of inflammation in your body. Um, it can help with um so many things. I do a pin of it. See, I just pin it on the top of it. CMOS help benefit. Read that message with support, which CMOS also helps suits. Help support the CMOS help benefit. I just pin it in my comments up there, guys. So, guys, please read it. Um, that which I just pinned that so you guys can see um, exactly what I'm talking about. All right, about CMOS because CMOS help to boost your immune system. All right, that's what CMOS also do and fight against certain kind of information in your body. CMOS is not like something which is going to make you get ill in the next day, but it's very good for the immune system. All right? Very, very good. But a lot of people, what, what, what I can't understand, they have high blood pressure and you still do the same thing where your, your doctor said, do not do it. You know what I mean? You have to eat. Don't get me wrong. But there are so much things else you can eat in this world. Like so much things, guys. We all know that when you eat rice, it turns into sugar in your body and you still eat rice. You know when you eat pasta, that's not good for you and you still do it. If you're, not, if you're healthy, that's different, but do things in moderation. You know what I mean? But when you know you're suffering from certain kind of symptom, you're still doing the same thing, guys. I would, only thing I would say, you need to grow up. You know what I mean? And that's one of the biggest things right now in the world. Change your diet. All right? You have high blood pressure. Change your diet. All right? All right? Exercise and walking as a, as, as a Craig was saying. Yeah? Exercise, doing a little bit of walking. Very good for you. Do your 5,000 step. Lift up a little thing in your house. Good evening. Faith, what's going on? Faith Edu TV. Thank you so much for coming on the show. All right? But I would encourage you guys, man. Don't stress yourself at home. Don't, you know what I mean? Sometimes the kids them come from school, the parents are scream out upon the kids them. You damage yourself. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, your child is young. You're getting in age. You know what I mean? So don't scream out yourself. Don't stress out yourself. You know, you have to, you got a lot of parents and they're rushing. Do you ever see what they're rushing? Come, I know you have to rush. Give yourself time. Give yourself time. Take your time and do what you got to have to do. Stop stressing yourself. Because at the end of the day, you have to be there for your kids. They don't want to be sick every minute and run up and down back and forth to the doctor for doing this kind of test, that kind of test. 
and your child need to go to nurse, your child need to go to doctor, you're a single parent, you know what I mean? So give yourself time because sometimes we sit down on the TV for you three, four hours, five hours watching some program where unnecessary, take away the whole day, take away half of your life, you know what I mean? Watch Chef Record and learn something new, all right? But I'm just giving you a few tips and ideas and things which I see happen all the time. And it still happen every day because some of us, we only have one ears. We can't have two. So you go. But anyway, my respect goes for you. I'm not going to keep the show any longer. And um, let's drink one more of this beautiful juice this evening, man. It's amazing. Beetroot, carrot, and ginger, and lemon. Cheers, guys. I love it. Mm. That was excellent. And you can't... There is no way in this world you can get this to buy in the supermarket, in the Caribbean shop. None of them not going to do it the way I did it. You have to make this yourself at home, guys. And it will come out lovely and nice. Red up your fingers and your hand and everything and do this at home. All right? Yeah, man. Yeah, so right here, this is what I'm drinking right now. Carrot. See, um... You can also put sea moss in this, thing, but I, you know what I mean? I got sea moss over here in that smoothie right there, all right? But thank you so much. I really appreciate every one of you guys. And as I said, any information, any question you guys want, please, please, please feel free to reach out to Chef Ricardo. We only can encourage one another and build ourselves, all right? Now, the, 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 you can go back to my website and download my book. It's only $4.99, guys. Go over to the website, download a book, and support Chef Ricardo. Book for $4.99. We're trying to get that book. We're going to get it upgraded to at least 150 pages. All right? So if you go over to my website, chefricardo.co.uk, you can support Chef Ricardo and download my book. All right? All right. Big up all the way from Brazil. Star, thank you so much for coming on the show. Brazil. All the way. Latasha. Thank you so much. Valerie. Real sea salt. Star. Thank you so much. But I'm, I'm going to say something. With, 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 to be honest with you, 95% of my cooking, very rare I use salt. It's only sometimes I use salt. All right? Sometimes I use sea salt. Very rare, like when I'm making porridge. But when I'm doing certain kind of vegetables and stuff, I don't use salt. Lisa, thank you so much. All right, I don't use salt. So I don't, I'm very weird. I don't have seasoned mash. I, I, must, I try to use a lot of um, like natural herbs, natural stuff. You know what I mean? That's what I try to use and cook with. I change my diet around from certain kind of uh, stuff. So that's the best thing to do. But it's only if you are... Suffering from certain kind of a in, in uh, like certain kind of a you know what I mean like something you're suffering from and you know so boy you're not supposed to be eating it all right all right yeah but um yeah Craig thank you so much but me personally very weird I use salt unless sometime I'm doing my little bit of porridge uh, and I put a little bit of salt in it that's it you know what I mean and I, and I use pink salt. I'm always using pink salt. I got a big case right up there, man. Pink salt is very good. Sometimes to use in your diet. But when you're on certain kind of, uh, you know what I mean? If you're suffering from certain kind of illness, it's very best for you to change your diet, change your lifestyle, and a lot more stuff, all right? Yeah. But anyway, thank you so much. Good evening. Goodbye. Have a lovely weekend. And I'm going to close the show. That was I do not use herbs it is good stuff but i am trying new remedy all right yeah man give it a try the best the only thing you can do guys is try at home all right um if you want to know how much sea mass how much you're gonna need to watch back over the video i use um one one medium sized cucumber two tablespoon of sea mass and teaspoon of fresh ginger um fresh ginger Fresh lemon, fresh lime, whatever you want to use with a lime or a lemon at home. But you can always re-watch the video, guys. Rewatch the video, the best thing to do. Alright, thank you so much. I must close the show and have a wonderful evening. 
Whatever you guys are doing, have a beautiful Friday afternoon. And see you next time.